Palantir doubters are again proved wrong. Some have even sold their shares. But now, they could be seeing the fault in their decisions. 99% are completely missing the point. Palantir just won another partnership, and this could push them even higher. But what am I even talking about? Well, let me explain. Disclaimer. Palantir's doubters are on fire again. And they're now saying that Palantir's price movement isn't rational. However, with how Palantir is doing lately, they just proved them all wrong. As a user on X has stated, Palantir's movement just makes sense. And these are the exciting reasons why. These doubters are simply missing the bigger picture. The market is trying to price in a massive shift in technology and how it drives business decisions. One of the main reasons Palantir's value is climbing is because of digital twins. So, what's up with digital twins? These digital twins are essentially detailed virtual versions of physical assets, processes, or systems. In today's world, they've become the backbone of how industries operate and make decisions. And Palantir has positioned itself as the only company in the West that can create truly operational digital twins. These twins aren't just models. They help businesses adopt artificial intelligence into their operations effectively. That's a game changer. What's even more significant is Palantir's artificial intelligence platform. AIP has allowed Palantir to speed up the development and rollout of its offerings, making these digital twins available to more industries every quarter. It's not just about selling software anymore. This is the huge difference Palantir has. Palantir is packaging its technology in a way that's faster, more flexible, and available to a growing number of customers. This means the potential market is expanding rapidly and Palantir is leading the charge. The way the market sees it, AIP could be for Palantir what CUDA was for NVIDIA. Before CUDA, NVIDIA was mainly known for making GPUs for gaming. But CUDA, a platform that allowed developers to use NVIDIA's GPUs for more complex computing tasks, changed everything. NVIDIA is now a giant in AI computing, far beyond its gaming roots. Palantir is going through a similar transformation. Before AIP, Palantir was often viewed as a complicated software as a service company. Now, with AIP, it's evolving into something much bigger, an operating system that could become the foundation of industry in the West. Now, here's what's interesting. This shift is why some people might think Palantir is overpriced. They don't understand how quickly the company is evolving, and Palantir is just leaving behind those who are doubting them. But here's what's even more interesting. The winner-takes-all effect is something the market is also factoring in. Palantir doesn't have any real competitors in its space. Sure, there are other companies working on AI and digital twins, but no one is doing it at Palantir's scale or efficiency. This means that Palantir could end up owning this market, just like NVIDIA has in data centers. When a company is in this position, its potential value skyrockets because it becomes the go-to solution for everyone. For those who question Palantir's valuation, the fundamentals continue to improve with every quarter. AIP is enabling the company to deliver faster results minimize the time it takes to provide value to its customers, and open new doors in different industries. As long as these fundamentals stay on track, Palantir's price is likely to keep rising. In the end, people thought NVIDIA was overpriced too, but they didn't see the bigger picture. Now, NVIDIA is a titan in AI computing. Palantir is on a similar path, and that's why its price action makes sense. So, for those of us who believe in what the company is building, it makes perfect sense to keep holding our shares. But let's hear out why people still think Palantir is overpriced. One of the potential reasons why they think so is because of the effect of the doubt of big institutions selling. One of the recent ones include ARK Invest, headed by Kathy Wood. So what has just happened? Kathy Wood's ARK Innovation ETF recently sold another 8,500 shares of Palantir. Moves like this often raise eyebrows and spark concerns among investors. When a well-known fund like ARK starts selling shares, people tend to worry that the company might be in trouble. And there's a huge downside to this. It can create the impression that big investors are losing confidence in Palantir, leading some to believe the stock might be heading down. After all, if someone as prominent as Kathy Wood is trimming her position, it can trigger doubts about the company's future. But here's what's exciting. Despite these sales, Palantir is actually doing exceptionally well. The company continues to grow and evolve, driven by its advancements in AI and its key product, the artificial intelligence platform. This technology is transforming how businesses operate, making Palantir services more valuable and accessible to a wider range of industries. As Palantir refines its offerings and reaches more customers, its revenue continues to grow, 
and the company becomes more entrenched as a leader in the AI space. Even though ARK has sold some shares, it doesn't mean Palantir is losing its momentum. In fact, the company is still on a strong path forward, with a growing market presence and improving fundamentals. The short-term actions of one fund shouldn't overshadow the long-term potential Palantir is building. For those watching closely, it's clear Palantir is still in a great position, and the future looks promising. In fact, they just partnered with another company. This is just another addition to Palantir's commercial clients, and this has caused their price to move really well in one of their recent trading sessions. Palantir's shares are trading higher in pre-market on Tuesday after the company announced a major new deal. So who's this new partner of theirs? Palantir has signed a multi-year, multi-million dollar contract with Nebraska Medicine. This marks an important step in the company's healthcare efforts. And the good thing about this for Palantir is that they are at the forefront of this new venture. So what's Palantir bringing to Nebraska Medicine? Under this deal, Palantir will use its powerful artificial intelligence platform to improve healthcare through advanced technology. Their goal has been to tackle key challenges in healthcare, and now they plan to take their collaboration further with this new contract. Palantir will help Nebraska Medicine by providing AI software that will be used to improve critical areas. Examples of this would be like patient flow, how nurses are allocated, managing clinical supplies, and optimizing the revenue cycle. This means that hospitals will be able to operate more efficiently, which can have a direct impact on the quality of care patients receive. The partnership will also expand Nebraska's use of Palantir's Foundry Ontology. This is designed to help healthcare providers better organize and understand their data. Additionally, the two organizations will explore new possibilities in clinical research and patient care, with the ultimate goal of improving outcomes for patients. Drew Goldstein, co-head of healthcare at Palantir, emphasized the significance of this deal, noting how quickly Nebraska Medicine committed to this partnership. He said it demonstrates their shared commitment to delivering value and achieving real results that enhance patient care. This new contract is yet another example of how Palantir is expanding its influence in healthcare, using AI to drive real change and create better solutions for the industry. With these new partners and the ones soon to be closed by Palantir, their path to becoming a tech giant is further pushed. This is what people are now saying. Palantir could eventually be bigger than Tesla because we're heading into a future where machines and automation will dominate. Anything a machine can build or do will become a commodity, something that's easily available and not unique. What will truly matter is data. In this data-driven world, the real value won't come from owning machines, but from mastering how data is collected, organized, and used. This ability will become the most important asset. Palantir's ontology, which is the system that structures and manages data, will be at the core of this new era. While machines perform tasks, it's ontology that gives them the intelligence to do those tasks smarter and more efficiently. Even in industries where Tesla leads like energy, transport, and production, automation is inevitable. But once everything is automated, the real battle will be over who has the best ontology. The better the system, the smarter the machines. So, while Tesla is revolutionizing transportation and energy, Palantir is set to dominate in a future where controlling the flow of data will be far more valuable. That's why, in the long run, Palantir might surpass Tesla in importance and scale. So what do you think about this? Let us hear your thoughts in the comments. If you are curious to find more, then make sure to click on one of the videos you see on the screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video with as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.